this one is cute. Mm. Then again, maybe not. Mm. This one has nice horns, but I think it's the wrong type for Minerva. Dear me, this is harder than I expected. Shershe, what are you up to? Ah, perfect timing, Robin. I want to ask you something. What about? Among your friends, are there any particularly beautiful wyverns? Uh, did you just ask if I had good-looking wyvern friends? Well, it was worth a shot. I'm looking for a partner for Minerva. I must have searched through dozens of portraits and letters of introduction, and yet, not a single one has been up to Minerva's very exacting standards. Minerva? That massive thing you ride in a battle? Yeah, didn't know anyone offered matchmaking services for wyverns. No one does. That's what's making this so difficult. I've been doing everything on my own so far. Impressive. You're breaking new grounds in wyvern relations. It's a giant leap for mankind and wyvern kind alike, I'll wager. Want to pitch in? Well, if you think I can help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. You're being serious? Did you hear that, Minerva? Robin is going to help us. Oh, look how happy you've made, Minerva. That blood-curdling sound was happiness? Assembled an extensive dossier on prospective wyvern mates, Cherche. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. Oh, thank you. This is so exciting. Let's see what you have. Here you go. Ah, you've included oral portraits of all the wyverns. What a nice touch. Hmm. No. 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 Ugh, not a chance. No. And... No. Um... Robin, did you know that these are all female wyverns? Uh, right. Is that a problem? Minerva is a girl? Who likes... boys? He is? I mean uh, that she is? Yes, she is. It's perfectly obvious if you just bother to look. Well, why in the blazes would I ever be looking at? I'm sorry. I didn't quite catch that. Just scolding myself for making such an obvious blunder. <laughs> well, I guess I'll be starting over then. You can probably tell just by looking at her, but Minerva is very picky. So, do make sure that you only bring her the most handsome candidates. Uh, you do realize that I have no concept of what makes a wyvern handsome, right? The shape and length of his horns, the shine of his scales, and the length of his wings. Also consider overall musculature, roar volume, and fire breath heat. Oh. And if he happens to be rich, so much the better. Oh, you have got to be joking! Cherche, I believe I found the perfect wife for Minerva. Here, look at this. Well, what do you think? Not bad, eh? This oil painting is accurate. He appears absolutely perfect. Look, Minerva, what do you think? Isn't he terribly handsome? Oh, she definitely likes him. Thank heavens. I was just about at the end of my rope with all this wyvern business. Thank you, Robin. We both appreciate everything you've done for us. You are truly too kind. Well, if I do succeed, I'm 
imagine my name will go down in history books. As the first ever chaperone for a wyvern blend date? Oh, yes. I wager you'll be famous for centuries. Uh, wait. I'm not gonna be there when they meet. That's absurd. I've never even matched up with people, let alone giant reptiles. Oh, you're a quick study. I'm sure it will go swimmingly. I'm not. If it makes you feel better, I'll be there as well. I'm very familiar with the nitty gritty of wyvern romance. No, knowing you're familiar with wyvern romance does not make me feel better. Besides, uh, why don't you just take over from here and enjoy all the glory? I mean, I, I'm just blundering around the dark and, uh, frankly... What? What was that? My ears are ringing! Hello? C can you hear me? Was that a cry of happiness? Or insane rage? Rage. She's concerned you might abandon the project. Brandon the Reject? Who? She seems to think you are the key to all of this working. A bee is lurking? I can't... Wait, hold on. Oh, God. That's better. My ears just popped. But look, I still have no idea what I'm actually doing. Ah, uh, oh, heck. I started this. I suppose I might as well see it through to the end. Oh, I am so glad to hear that. And so is Minerva. Aren't you, Minerva? <laughs> Gods! Not again! Oh, Robin. I'm so sorry Minerva's date didn't work out well. Especially after you went through all that trouble. He was such a fine-looking wyvern, too. I truly thought Minerva would take to him. I wasn't sure what I was in for, honestly. But I certainly didn't expect them to fight. It would have burned down the entire village if you hadn't intervened. They just needed a good scolding to get them to settle down. <sighs> I suppose it's back to square one again, then, eh? Actually, I'm starting to think Minerva is simply too old for a marriage now. I suppose we'll both just be a couple of old maids until the end of our days. Have you ever, uh, looked for a husband? Oh, sure. But it never really worked out for one reason or another. Well, actually. It usually didn't work out because of Minerva. She tends to scare people off. A couple of men even asked me to leave her for them, but I couldn't do it. I guess a wife with a wyvern just isn't an enticing prospect. Then Minerva has my eternal gratitude. What do you mean? She chased away my rivals. Thanks to her, I get to be the one to give you this. A ring? An... engagement ring? Cherche, all of this matchmaking has made me think of my own prospects. And also how it's made me think of you and how much I love you. I swear, I will look after you and Minerva till the end of our days. Will you marry me? Why, Robin, this is so surprising! I accept. Oh, I gladly accept. I won't let you down, Cherche. You or Minerva. I promise. It's funny how all of this started with me trying to find a mate for Minerva. And now she's all alone, but I managed to find a man of my own. I'd call that a happy twist of fate. <laughs> no offense, Minerva. What, Minerva? What is that look? Wait, no! Not fire breath! I didn't mean it! <laughs> it's funny. Being close like this just feels... right. As if it was always meant to be. <laughs> <laughs>